I guess I should look through the Monokuma files we got before. The victim Sayaka Maizono. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appeared to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward. Somehow I have to find out the truth. So that we can all survive. And for Sayaka. I have to find out who killed her. Monokuma file number one has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay, wait. I I'm looking at their perspective. Okay, at this point, it will everything makes sense that everybody will think I am the culprit because the part of the trier per se those didn't come till now, you know, kind of like like. It's not just killing there is we're gonna investigate everything so i need to push right now my eyes into their shoes okay i need to go to my room that's what i need to do oh wait i, I could teleport i'm stupid or what first of all i should head to the scene of the crime my room we won't make any progress without investigating I was going there, so I head to my room. I better examine the state of my room a little closer. That may reveal something new. Okay. That toolkit is still inside the drawer. I don't see any evidence that it's been used at all. Which makes sense, I guess. I mean, it's mine, and I haven't any reason to open it. I can even imagine a situation where I need a toolkit like this. And she was killed what by a knife. Yeah, seriously. Oh, Mondo. We ain't exactly in the mood to building fucking furniture, right? So, you haven't used yours either then? No, just me. Nobody busted her out yet, far as I know. Okay. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. Oh, yeah. None of the guys have opened our toolkits yet. Who's like, why the hell will we? Toolkit has been added to the truth bullet section to, of your handbook. The hell is a truth bull? Okay. But of course, I mean, when I saw the body, we saw a knife. So. And there was a struggle of knife here. So, somebody should have used this to, def to defend themselves. I mean, two people in a room. And we got one weapon. And we got one second weapon? This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Sayaka knew that. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus... It's been taken out of its head shed. I hadn't actually looked at the blade itself till now. I should be surprised it's coated in gold too. On top of that, some of the gold coating has come off of parts of the blade and the handle. Yeah, the handle special is missing of lot this coating. I remember the coating stick to you even if you just touch it a little bit. A replica sword has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. There's a key on the ground, it has my name on it, so this must be my room key. If I remember correctly... Ah, that's right, uh-huh, right key with me. When we switch room, we switch keys too. So Sayaka will have the key here in my room the entire time. But wait, if that's true then... How did the killer get into the room in the first place? She opened the door and she said she won't open the door to no one. Why did she open the door? Could Sayaka have forgot to lock? No, 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 no. 
No, that seems impossible. Aha, uh -huh, no matter, even if I know it's you, I won't open it. So you're saying that there's no way she will have forgotten to lock it or open it for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something? No, that's not possible either. No, it was night time and we went to sleep. Deca was in here when we switched rooms. And with how scared she was, she would have gone walking around. So how did the killer... Okay, that opens a big hole. Not hole, a big thing like Sayaka opened the door to the killer. To the person that killed her. I mean to the killer. Why would she do that? If she said that somebody was trying to uh, uh, go into her room, you know? Why did she open the door? Did she... Was she I got something on my mind right now, but there are scratch and gauge on my walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? It looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Damn it, I was right there in the other room. If only I hear something, what? that would not have been possible. Huh? <laughs> Don't you remember? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. So something could happen in the room right next to you and there's no way you could know. Doug. Perhaps this was an order of Monokuma strategies, creating an ideal setting for murder. Okay, but... Somebody... No, it doesn't make sense. If somebody was trying to botch into her room and she didn't open... <laughs> And when we see room, somebody try to come in and she opens. That doesn't add up. Getting a feeling she was lying. She must have been lying. I mean... There was a fight. There was a fight. Okay, okay, let's finish investigate this. Hey, Kyoko. Probably called her name while she was investigating. But... What are you doing? I don't know. I don't know. I do she was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of my room. I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. Okay, what did Sayaka call somebody? Okay, we don't have phones. Okay, something doesn't add up. No, no. I want to go to the bathroom. Ah, okay. Here? There's a scratch on the ground. Is that a bit... Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. our, our room are completely some program. Ah, uh, yeah. Dug. Looking at the lane roll, it looks like there, there's way less than before. So I can see how dirty my room was and decided to clean up a little. That's weird. The hell is this? The notepad is still here, but I don't think it's relevant right now. 
there are goats in the bed like someone attacked it. What the hell happened here? Ah, the... This is the replica Sora I brought back. But how did Stitch stretch up in the first place? Even if someone used the sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the shirt to be damaged. I mean, if you're gonna attack someone with a sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. A heavy sheath like this will only get in the way if it would just slide off in the middle of the fight. So why are scratch on this shed? Replica sword. I mean, Sayaka will know that. Sh but we we talked that it was it was it was fake. No, no, she will have no. It is a sword, sword, sword. But she was killed by a knife. God damn it. What else can I look at? Ah, the, the survive camera. Survive camera. The mastermind must be using them. Sakura, do you think I'm guilty too? Oi. I try not to make assumption like that. I simply don't know whatever or not you did this. Hmm. Whatever decision the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. So, yeah. You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. There is a trash room here in the dorms, right? They could toss some stuff in there. Yeah, that's possible. That dirty bastard. Anyone who raised their hand to a woman is a scum that deserved death. That's what my brother told me. So if I ever find the son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pound his goddamn face. But, but what if it was a girl that did it? And that all gets sorted out when the time comes. I think that's it. Can I go to the bathroom now? What else? I'm trying to go to the bathroom. It doesn't let me. The tra Did I? Okay. Is this place on the store was on? Looks like there must have mm -hmm. I know I have investigated everything. My tool wasn't open. I touched the bed already. I mean there are the marks but we didn't went to a struggle. The is that evidence of a What else? Ah, the, the door? Duh. I'm gonna go crazy. What else? I already 
Investigate that. Da da da. And they don't let me go to the bathroom. Oh, what else, really? The table. Stop clicking the trash. This is making me go crazy. The keys. Talk to you again. Hey, Kyoko. But a few seconds later, she suddenly stumbled straight and said, yeah. Are you a clean freak? No, I don't think so, but what? Nodding, she glazed around my room one more time. Interesting. What's interesting? No. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. Unusual? What do you mean? I searched your floor from one corner to another. And I didn't find one single strand of hair. Really? Yeah. Not one hair from the victim and not one hair from you, even though you've been living in here. No, now that you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lean roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Could someone have used it too? Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone used your lean roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrambled your room clean. Was it Sayaka or the killer? The killer, because he's the one that survived. So. That's the question, isn't it? I go to clean this room. Can I go to the damn room now? Bathroom. <sighs> Thank you. No, I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. For forcing myself to push my panic down, I step into the bathroom. Fine. Looking at her made it painful clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her hair. Sayaka. All at once I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, the urge to burst into tears. But I can, I can hesitate now. Why did Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I want to give up. I want to collapse. But that thought held me up and support me. Okay. Okay, there is a knife. I told myself... Okay. But now no time to think like that. I pull out Monokuma 5 to verify what it say about her body. Sharp object that him okay, a knife. But whatever they used to kill her. How they get it? That's something I should look into later. Also, according to the Monokuma file, Sayaka right wrist wrist is broken. Okay. So, they hit her, 
it's broken it's not cut out it's broken so they hit her with the sword and the thing put it in it's a bruised and it got gold but there's something sort of glitter there on her wrist right there where her wrist is all swollen there's something glittering that concern me another thing that concern me is there is some blood on her left index finger but that's it the palms of both her hands are totally spotless so how come only her left finger Okay, wait. There is a cut, but there is a bruise. Somebody hit her with a sword. No, no, no. The stab wound in her stomach is what killed her, so when she broke her wrist, that must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she already been killed? So it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The clear attack Sayaka in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted the deadly wound. And there was a lot of cut out from the sword thingy to the sword handy. Yeah. What the? I looked past Sayaka to walk behind her. And there I saw. No. El. Leon. Leon. Leo 2. Leo 2. Leon. Leon. Write it in blood where the number... Ah, there are numbers, sorry. I'm like... 11037. You say I can do this. I was reading it like letters. I mean... I didn't sell them like letters. <laughs> like where, 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 here? Where is it? Where is the thing? There is no number. I, I wrote it like Leo 3. It looks like you found it, right Makoto? The bloody numbers that most likely say I get dying message. What do you mean by dying message? It's something a victim writes right before they die, usually as a way to tell people who kill them. But generally, however, write it doesn't make it totally obvious. They will either write it somewhere the killer won't notice or write it out in code or something. Now that's pretty incredible. Yeah. Have you ever heard of Ellery Queen? Who? <sighs> Never mind. Wait a second. Okay. Now can I leave my room? What? Ah. Ah, right. I've never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final message. It's as if she wrote it with life itself. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? By the number she wrote, why do they mean? Okay, it's raining so bad. 11037. I had no idea what that could possibly mean. 
The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wants to use her body to block them. If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting the way she found her, it means she must have wrote them by turning only her hand towards the wall. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? Broken the wrist. The result. So. Think about it. You are not gonna tell me. Naikiko. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise the case will end up and you will remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you are trying to say but it's obvious you are not going to tell me. Really? I, I was reading it backgrounds. Never come to my mind it was an 11. For me backwards says Leon. It's not like Kyoka knows what Sayaka's dying message means. But honestly I have no idea. Oh I know who I should talk to. When it comes to number who better to ask than the ultimate programmer. Nice. There's one other thing I want to ask you about. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh you mean how it gets stuck? Huh? Get stuck. Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you leave the trick, it opens no problem. So. so the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken door knob. The door knob. You didn't notice? Well, just try closing the bathroom. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. Ah, the door knob. I'm like, what the heck? The door knob practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. Whatever it was, it obvious this was intentional. What? It was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and end up breaking the wall thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girl's bathroom can lock, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought. Then apparently struck with a sudden realization, she shot a question at me. Just I have one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door will get stuck, right? Did you tell anybody about that? Sayaka? Um... Well, I did tell Sayaka about it last time, when we switched rooms. So what are you saying is, only John Sayaka knew about it. Hmm. Interesting. She had the slight hint of a smear on her face. I got the sense that she was really starting to get into all this. Then that clears that up. What clears what up? I'm lost. Well, see you later. So if I'm forgetting I was ever even there, she suddenly turns on and left my room. But from now, I still don't really understand any of this, but I've already given my room a good once over. Yeah, I want to look around. Let me go out. Wait. Wait, 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 wait a second here. This is switch. Why would it be switch? Okay, wait. This doesn't make add up. Saeka comes in. Saeka comes to my room saying that somebody was barging into her room, right? Hair. She say trying they were somebody trying to, like kill her, like go to her room because they were not trying to go to my room. Right? So why would it be switch. 
you know, I think she was trying to frame me. Like, see, see, shh. or not? Wait. No, I. It will make sense because she opened the door. She opens the door. No, 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 no. No. Okay, wait. This is my room, but the name plate has say like a name on it. Can we take that as proof? This is like a room, right? But the name plate has my name on it. The name place on my room and say a room were switch. So all the effort I put into switching room without anyone knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. I think hmm, I came in. She came out. She shamed it. So the person that tried to but she opened the door so she wanted somebody to know that this is her room but it's mine she opens the door luring that person in i think she wanted to kill somebody and i think the person that she talked to that person also saw it as an opportunity to kill her right seeing that this that person coming thinking that this is a girl's room like Sayaka tells oh my god come to my room <laughs> that person will come prepare because that person knows that the girl rooms got locked on that person that came in doesn't know that my lock is does have that problem of course so that person comes prepare and open try opens the door with it was a guy so the guy came prepare because my thing is not touched it's not open the school drive all my things are there so that person used his thing to go there prepare so he he came prepared even with a knife. He came in. The bed, ooh la la, maybe Psycho was like, oh hi. Right. Okay, so. She. One was going to use my sword, the sword, to kill that person. So she varam, or oh, varam, varam, varam. Maybe she, okay, maybe she took it out and sword fight, but that person did have a knife, you know. Maybe it's like it's not a good fighter. Start fujum fujum fujum. Struggle, a fight. She goes in the bathroom. She's the only one know how to get to my bathroom. That person thinks this is a girl's room because I keep calling for that per him. We know it's a guy. Uh Sayaka Sayaka in girl room. He comes prepare. Or maybe he goes back to his room. To see if he thing and then come here to open it. Since Sayaka is too hard to do that. One of those options. Open the doors. The door was left out. So he for somehow got the advantage of kicking the sword off from her or something like that. Go there, stab her. She wrote it by the, there was blood in the right wrist in the with with gold 
because she she used the sword. Uh huh. Wrist. Blood. Road. Oh my god, it hurts. I get a feeling she was right handed. And you know you can. It will be. I think it, there are letters and they say Leo. It was him. Leon? 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 It was him. The letters. I see the letter. Something doesn't seem right. The Monokuma 5 cell Saka was killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? Okay, you, you won't confuse me. Where is your room, Leon? But where... Okay. <laughs> In my mind, it's kind of like... I think it's Leon because of the letters. Okay. Let me talk to... Ah, okay. Sorry. I mean... Did they give me away with those letters? numbers I I noticed a human shaped blur come tearing out of death of the hallway all the way what the hell do you think you're doing huh all those may won't have anything to do with the investigation well I suppose that's a natural reaction to someone trying to go into your room without permission Yeah, it was him. Yeah, it was him. It must have been him. What is this? There's a study gather here and a way to pass get out. Ah. It's the end of the line. The trash room, this is where all the trash in the school eventually wins up. How do we get this gate open? No, no entry beyond this point. Oh. Clean duty. Who is on clean duty? This is stupid, it's faster to just go around and ask other people. What does that have to do with... If it was Leon... Okay, I think I don't need to say if it was. I think at this point we know it's him. Just because the name behind. That that really does name. So even the fear does help me a lot. So if he went in... Trash. He must have getting gold Colton. So I don't think he will want to have how you say it? Oh laundry. Okay. I don't think he will want to left something like that in her room or something. So maybe he went and washed it. It's a washing machine. Ah, oh, thank you, I guess. And it's difficult to get out. So maybe he killed her. And maybe he killed her. He ki Now I just need to understand the case, I guess. He killed her. And... Tried to clean himself with a roller. Doesn't get out. Uh... Doesn't wash it. 
So I need to know who was in clean in the trash cleaning duty. Hina, are you investigating the dining hall? Oh no, I'm just taking a break actually. I've been taking a break since we started. <laughs> this is all the first for me, you know. I don't have the first clue what I should be doing. I know what you mean. I don't know why, but being in the dining hall helps keep me calm. So I know I should, but I have just been kind of hanging around here. So tell the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Sayaka was killed. Wait. Oh, wait. There's all kind of kitchen knife here, big to small, but there's one missing. It looks like one of them is missing. Was it missing from the very beginning or better see if anyone here knows more about it. Somebody came and took it. And she was here when when Sayaka was killed, so we need to see if she saw who came in. So did you notice that one of the kitchen knife is missing from the dining hall? Yeah, weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange. A knife just suddenly disappeared like that. Oh, so it wasn't missing from the beginning? No, last time, remember, they were all lined up in a nice neat room. So when did you notice one of them had disappeared? Well, I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea, I went back into the kitchen to wash my glass. One of the knives was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Mm. Yeah. In other words, you were right there in the dining hall when someone came and took it. Then you should be able to say for sure. You can tell everyone I didn't come to the dining hall last night. Which proof I didn't take it. Mm. By the way, did you really kill Sayaka? But of course not, I will never. You know, do you really think I'm murder her? Well, she was killed in your room, right? So I mean, you guys were supposed to be friends, right? But you still kill her. On the other hand, two people becoming good friends, then one kill the other is a classic drama setup. So when you consider everything together, I honestly have no idea. Okay, I think if Leo came here to get the knife, of course it won't have been when somebody's watching him coming in taking the knife, so... Bia Kuya, can you tell me anything about cleaning duty? <laughs> You're like a child lost in the woods, you know that? I totally waste of space. What do you mean? <laughs> Darkhouse, the one who has any interest in organizing things like that. Oh, good point. Alright. Oh, Where is Taka? Where is she? Is this on the gym? No. He is. He's near the gym, but he's not in the gym. Where is him? It doesn't say he's in the gym. Where is he? Ah, here. Cleaning duty, huh? As a matter of fact, Monokuma came and talked to me yesterday morning. Really? You probably realized I was basically in charge. The topic of the conversation was assigning cleaning duty. Oh, so you're on cleaning duty now? Actually, no. Okay, then who is... Ifumi was also there when he had this conversation. 
He volunteered right away, so I let him have it. So he's on cloning duty then. Indeed, but we'll swap out on a weekly basis. I'm sure you will, you will be up before too long. And when that time comes, I'll be counting on you. So he was there. Let me let's find him. die here I'm begging you God Buddha Mother Earth God of Space King Neptune help me I don't care who it is just get me out of here Zero doesn't seem prepared to do any kind of investigating right now but I wanted to ask him about cleaning duty ah no he for his say why, why I'm here with him hey Chihiro I was hoping I could ask you something uh, what what it is before she died Sayaka left a message she wrote out the number 11037 do you have an idea what these numbers may mean like could they be a code or something uh. sorry no you hear slowly shook her head uh. oh my god you cry a lot okay well don't worry about it thanks anyway for trying even she doesn't know or could she maybe know more than she let it on? No, could be. Wait, I took the wrong person. You fool me. I'm looking for whoever on cleaning duty. Cleaning duty. As a matter of fact, that's me. What do you ask? It just so happened Monokoma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone on cleaning duty, the school would be flooded with trash in no time. So I formally applied for the position. I was gonna start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had a chance to get started. And since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the gate in front of the trash room? Of course, it's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss in the trash room. And to do that, they gave me the key for the trash room gate. That we're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you will- Oh my god, I know. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get in the trash room, and the only person on cleaning duty has access to the key. What's the point of going to all the trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can all throw things out wherever we want? That just seems more convenient. Actually, anyone who kills a fellow student become black net quick right away unless they are discovered. The, so he didn't of course know about the trial, that must be why. If anyone could go in and out of the trash room wherever they want, then the story of the evidence will be easy. Then Thrill will disappear and things will become boring. Boring. Anyway, more important than that. Hey Fari, why do you want the cleaning duty gig anyway? I just decided to volunteer for something and you no one else would wanna do. It's a big deal. Liar, I know why you did it. You wanna dig through all the girls' trash, looking for, you know, a poking around at it. What are you talking about? All my love is for 2D. But there's all kind of trash diggers like that. Maybe you'll get tired of 2D and then turn to... After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D and volunteer... Okay. The only thing 3D is good for is to, sh is to show our love and affection on 2D. Oh, and PVC figures. Why are you not totally embarrassed to say stuff like that? 
<laughs> if you are so worried about Hifumi's questionable morality, there is a very easy solution. Whatever a guy has clean duties, Sakura can accompany them from picking up the trash to disposing of it. <laughs> what? None. If you are as innocent as you claim, where's the harm in it? That's not how it's supposed to. Anyway, on another topic, Hifumi, since you were on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask you. What? So now you simply want to join my party? Sorry, but you haven't triggered the flag. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, you haven't helped me recover from a past trauma, or save a village, or beat a boss. No, nothing like that. I was just hoping to get into the trash room and look around. Yes, oh, okay. So easy. Oh, if woman and I headed down to the trash room. But wait. So of course the gold is hard to remove. Leo didn't want any evidence. But he won't be he won't go to the trash room if he only was there. You know when I look at it it makes me think. They say he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside but he never stopped dreaming. Get busy living or get busy dying, he says. So him and Rita, they found themselves a way out. Whatever, please, just hurry up. Okay, okay. Surely you aren't planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence, are you? Fine, plan this all along. No, no. If you want to see if the actual killer had tried to destroy any evidence or it. <laughs> but the actual killer is you, isn't it? You want to see if you left anything behind. <laughs> Wait, maybe I parallel war? Whatever, let's hurry up and keep looking. First thing, this. There's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. It looks like a burned piece of s or something. Mm. A burned piece, like a hunk, like a hunk of burning love. Anyway, this is. It looks like a piece of cloth, and the shape is part of the sleeve from a bottom up shirt. And now that I look at it, that's blood on the cloth, which means this is all left of some of the evidence the killer destroyed. But there are lots of people were with white bottom up shirt. This isn't enough by itself to figure out who the killer is. There are shards of broken glass scattered around in front of the incinerator. It looks like they... Like it used to be some kind of glass ball just a big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Oh my god, wait, uh... Okay. What's that? Do you know what this is? They say if you collect all seven, a dragon will appear and grab... Kidding aside, it's the kind of thing you may see on any big city street corner. Gaze into it and it will show you a glimpse of the future. Just like that Mina girl who was on that quest to find that one guy. Yeah, I get what you're trying to say, but who did this particular ball belongs to? There's only one person it could be. They should all still be in the gym. So this burning piece fell from here. Is this a burning thingy? This is the insane. Okay. And it's on right now. Do you see the green and yellow button next to the mouth of the incinerator? It's a pretty simple setup. You press the green button to get it going and yellow button to turn it off. Sooner or later you will be on cleaning duty, so make sure okay. Someone turn in the incinerator on. 
and it's just right now. So the moment no, Monokuma say about the trial and the evidence, oh, he went fa okay. Perhaps it was the work of a. Ifumi, do you realize what you say? What well, the fairy? No, you say that last time you were here, the incinerator was off. Yes, about that there can be no mistake. I've got one thing going on for me. It's my memory. Yesterday, as soon as I was appointed, I came down to check the place out. It wasn't on. I haven't been back to the trash room since then. And since I'm the only one who has a key to open the gate, it should be impossible for the incinerator to be on. And yet, that means someone was able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gate. Yeah, oh, wait a second. But how is that possible? <laughs> this whole thing is quite strange indeed. When I was here last, the scenario was off and those glass shards and board clothes weren't. <laughs> what does it all mean, Mr. Naegi? Will you be confessing soon? Why me? <laughs> Everyone already knows you did it. All the mysteries are being solved one by one. Sound like he's living out one of his comic book fantasies. That's a huge trash can. That we're supposed to put whatever trash we can burn. Well, whatever it's for, it doesn't look it's heading in a clue. Okay. You simulator down. Really? If you need help lifting your spirit, call on me anytime. I got all kind of smaller stuff that may help cheer you up. Okay, so we need to go for the crystal ball. No wait, before that... Why did she leave his name on? Hmm... Okay... Uh... Jim, right? I know, every time I see something that I don't understand, I do my face like this. Maybe maybe that's why I was like, Leo. Hero, can I ask you something? No, 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 I gotta get out of here, gotta get out now, I have enough, gotta break free. Hero, snap out of it. Uh, Makoto, what are you doing here? What? Um, does this look familiar? That's my crystal ball. That is all smash. What the hell? Do, do I only bought it because the guy said it was blessed. He said it was unbreakable. So how did it break? Was it actually just made of glass and not crystal? Did that guy totally dump me? He said it belonged to the pillars of history. Then she's gone. George Washington, Napoleon. He said whoever controlled that crystal ball controlled the war. Was that seriously all bullshit? Let's put that aside for now. So you can say without a doubt that this belongs to you. What? Uh. Yeah, that's mine. I probably forgot it in the laundry room last night. Someone must come by and snatch it. You left in the laundry room. That means anyone could have found it and take it. Thanks, Hero. That's all I wanted to know. Uh, uh, Here. Uh, Everything I saved up from fortune telling for two full years come out to be like a million. A million? Uh, uh, That's pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering it gives you the power to control the war. 
That's just too, too stupid. I can even feel bad for him. Okay, laundry room. Laundry, laundry, laundry. The swimming swing can get out to dry. It has not. I know. Oh, okay. That's vending my shield. Okay. What else? Ah, it says where to go, of course. Looks like where else do I need to go? Oh wait. Can I talk to my friend? Alright, oh, wait. We wanted to see the wait. The CD, right? I forgot about that. It's saved. Let's go look. Ah, oh, that's why the mark. Okay. Sorry. My bad. We haven't gone there. <laughs> like, I'm distracted with that, but I haven't got it here. There can only be one thing in the trash can. The DVD. I got really upset after seeing whatever was in that DVD. Wonder what did she see? I'm sorry Sayaka, I need to borrow this DVD. This first floor. I like go. I, I like to start now in the school layout. Oh here. Somebody here. Celeste is here. No. I should be able to use this to see what's on the DVD. And imagine slowly appear, look like some kind of concert. And standing on stage front and center was a face I recognized all too well. Sayaka. She was there along with the friends she say had been so important to her. She was positively glowing there in front of the crown so full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept that she was dead. My vision started to blur and darker and then that voice I come to despise so much began to float out of the speaker. Saka had disappeared from the stage which has now in ruins. But what I noticed even more than that was the figure of the older girls who had all simply collapsed. <laughs> アイドルとして活躍することも、スポットライトを浴びることも二度とありません。つまり、マイゾのさやかさんの帰る場所はもうどこにもなくなったのです。ではここで問題です。このアイドルグループが解散した理由とは。
So they are not dead. This is metaphorical, like. What the hell? It wasn't real, real, right? They are super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. Is he trying to say he was even able to get to them? That really did happen. Everyone in the outside world must have been going crazy. What kind of person will take things this far? The red door on the first floor. That's where I should go. Now, where I have to go. All the lights are passing by. And all my thoughts, they multiply. I see it flash before my eyes. 